Nobody needs reminding that Australian summers often bring extreme weather. But there's one type of dangerous weather event that's notoriously difficult to predict, the destructive and sudden summer thunderstorm. A group of university researchers has been following storms around Brisbane this summer, trying to learn more about how so-called supercells develop. Peter McCutcheon reports. It is. As a storm approaches, the work begins. The sky is darkening over the ranges southwest of Brisbane. Just working out which way to point the lighter. Once you get the antenna set up, just put it near the store here. These researchers are racing against time to get their instruments in place. Judging by it, looks like we're going to get a lot of rain, a lot of wind. At the moment, no hail. Which is good or bad news? Good if you've got a car park just over there. <laughs> A generator is running a special weather laser, or LIDAR, which will be used to measure the wind speed. And a weather balloon is being prepared to gather more data higher up in the atmosphere. It's hoped the information gathered here will help solve a meteorological mystery. Why is it so hard to predict where dangerous summer storms will hit? When you start having days where storms are moving left, storms are moving right, some storms are moving towards the coast, issuing warnings to the public can be chaos. Destructive late spring and summer storms are a regular part of life in Queensland and New South Wales. But sometimes these storms can be devastating. It was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Five years ago, a suburb in Brisbane's west, The Gap, was ripped apart by what appeared to be a smaller cyclone-like storm. It's what meteorologists call a 